Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you RPCF3, a PlayStation 3 emulator on my AMD Ryzen 8845HS. So here we have the quick start page for RPCF3. Uh, there's also a download page so you can download it for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, which seems to be experimental. And I think they're also, yeah, they also have a version for the ARM chips. But in my case, it's Linux and it's on the AMD Ryzen 8845HS. Um, yeah, the quick start page um, has a lot of information. So they recommend six cores with 12 threads or more, um, a fast GPU, dual channel RAM. Well, in my case, I haven't upgraded the RAM yet. So I'm still stuck with single channel because I only have one memory module. And yeah, my previous video was about the LG Blu-ray writer uh, because to get the games, you can either try to get a custom firmware on your PlayStation 3 or do it with a PC Blu-ray drive. There's a list with compatible drives And when you have a compatible drive, you can use disk dumper and just as an example, starting disk dumper here, I have my LG Blu-ray drive connected. So I'm going to insert a PlayStation 3 game. And as you can see, Ubuntu already recognizes the disk, so you can do rescan disk devices. And here you can see God of War 3. And I already dumped it, so I don't need to do that again. And that will take quite some time because it's 34 gigabytes. And once you have dumped the game, uh, you can load it in RPC S3. Um, I'm not really sure how to do that properly, but once it's dumped, uh, you can try to find the file and then uh, get it here in your menu. So one of the other things is, is that you can see that, um, for instance, with God of War 3, yeah, when you're dumping the Blu-ray drive, uh, the Blu-ray disc, uh, you only have version 1.0. And practically all the games, they get updates. And well, luckily there is a easy program for that um, for instance rusty PSN so I already downloaded that extracted it and then uh, I have to make sure that it is executable and for instance 
can start it and if we go back to rpcs3 you can get the serial so if you paste that here search for updates and here you can see that you can download the file well in my case i already downloaded it so if you go into the directory of rusty psn there's a subdirectory packages or it should be there once you have downloaded an update and you can just drop it onto the rpcs3 window and say yes well you can uh, tick the things that you want And now you can see that version 1.03 is available. So that's the game updates. Um, yeah, I think patches is something that I need to investigate a bit more, but I will Put a link to that also so you can just have a look at it yourself um, for instance one of the patches is is that you can uh, skip uh, intro videos with x it seems that it isn't always that easy to skip intro videos and there are plenty of more patches Now, there are also a lot and a lot of settings and some of them are for better compatibility, some of them are for better performance, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot, a lot of options. Now, I had some issues with missing textures and I found this video, so it said like, yeah, enable right color buffers um, and if you have enough uh, cores and the problem is to enable with more cores you get more threads so then you can enable multi-threaded rsx enable multi-threaded rsx and asynchronous texture streaming enable so also the asynchronous texture streaming so I enabled that and then things got a lot better um, now God of War 3 that is a bit more of a demanding game but um, yeah well uh, we'll start with this one So you can see that it's compiling shaders. It will do that lots and lots and lots. And perhaps that at some points that it can impact the performance. And here you can see the frames per seconds. Now let's go to one of the saves I have. So you can see that, yeah, it's having a tough time to get a Let's just say a steady 30 frames per second, it's not even getting 60 frames per second.
So I guess it's playable, but it's not smooth. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, in the future I will upgrade the memory so that I will have dual channel and then I will try this again. So for now, uh, God of War 3 is a, a bit too heavy. It, it's playable, but uh, you get a lot of uh, dropped frames. Now, one of the games that uh, will play better is uh, Motorstorm Pacific Rift. But I think also that this is, let's just say, locked at 30, uh, 30 frames per second and not 60. Oops. Oops. Ah. I guess you you get the idea. So yeah, one of the things that you might be wondering is um, where do you download the firmware? Well, actually, you can just download it from the Sony website uh, because you can update a PlayStation 3 without internet connection. So they provide the firmware from their own website um, yeah because emulation is sort of a bit sensitive from a legal point of view so yeah I'm not going to link to the firmware itself but I guess if you know how to use a search engine shouldn't be too hard to uh, to find it 
Now, one of the other things is that uh, if you don't have a PlayStation 3 game or you haven't got around to dumping them, um, as you can see, I have MotorStorm Pacific Rift twice, but this one is only the demo. And you can also see that the file size is much smaller. So I think that apparently it's um, legal to download the demos of the games because otherwise this uh, website uh, probably wouldn't exist anymore if it wasn't. So I'll also put a link to this website in the description of the video. So for instance, uh, God of War, as you could see that I had it as a demo. Um, yeah, so this one. Uh, I also tried one of the Gran Turismo's, but I got a, an error about a license file. So that's, yeah, to me that sounds a bit weird, but yeah, apparently that can happen. So, but I'm um, yeah, really happy that my AMD Ryzen 8845HS is able to play some PlayStation 3 games. Yeah, you could see that, for instance, God of War 3 was a bit too much at the moment. Uh, hopefully that will improve once I have dual channel memory. And also with the settings and the patches. Yeah, that's something that I need to put some more investigation into. But for now, I'm really happy that RPC S3 works. I can dump the games with my LG drive. So hopefully in the future I will do an update on this, uh, especially when I have dual channel memory. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.